Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the deadline markers. So what I've got on the screen is a small project with some building work that needs doing. What I want to do is put some deadline markers on some of these tasks. So for example, if I want to put a deadline marker on this task, I need to double click into it and go onto the advanced tab and this is the deadline area here. So if I put a deadline marker on this task, so it's due to start on Wednesday the 20th, let's say I want it on the 28th. Now that's the deadline, click OK. It puts a little green arrow on the 28th, which you can actually physically move with the mouse. If I push it forward, you might see it a bit better, not until a Sunday though. So I'll push it there. So I can see that deadline marker. Now, if you go past that deadline marker, it's not like a constraint where it will come up potentially with a warning saying you're going past this constraint. What it does, if you're in this table, the entry table, and you have the information column on there, the indicator column, what happens is if I just push this back, uh, let's say we go past it, you get a little diamond in the column and it tells you that you've gone past this deadline, which is great, but what I want to do is have it flag up in a column and have a red or green traffic light whether it's gone past it or not which I can then filter on because to see that on a small project like this is fairly straightforward but if this was going down a few hundred lines I wouldn't necessarily see that on all these tasks so I want some sort of filter option um, on that task now to do that, what I'm going to do is add a, add a column. So if I click on add new column and type D, I'll get the deadline column, which actually gives you that date. So you can see that there's no deadline on some of these, but I've got that date there now, which is what I set, which is in the past. And if I push this forward, I'll just change it back to the 28th. So that says the 28th. Now what I want to do in the next column along, I want a an if statement to say, basically, if this is... Um, has gone before the start date I want it to flag up so let's do that if I go right click custom fields is where I need to go for this and I'll just rename text one call it status I suppose let's try that one I've already got that can't have status um, I'll call it deadline status then deadline status I can have that and then formula I want a formula and I want a function and the function I want is the IIF, immediate if, that one. Get rid of all of this stuff. So the expression, just delete that, is going to be if the deadline, so go to date, deadline, is less than, less than the start date of a task, so field, date, start date comma I want it to give me a 1 otherwise give me a 0 click OK to that and it's telling me that it's going to change that field to this that's OK click OK insert that column so right click insert column type T for text deadline status and it comes in loads of zeros now I don't want it to show a zero I want it to show a green light or green traffic light symbol if that is a zero and a red one if that is a one so if I go back into this custom fields I'm still on that one what I need to do now is go to these graphical indicators and say if it's equal to zero which is good I want an image of a green traffic light but if it's equal to one I want it to show a red traffic light like that okay to that okay to that and then you get lots of green traffic lights so if I pull this again back to there I've now got a red traffic light so what I'm going to do is just pull this down in fact, I'll pull that back forward and then I can play around with this. So I'll push that back forward so it's green. So I'll pull the dates down there so they're all green. And if I change some of these dates to, um, let's go for the 25th. 
see that goes red now if I pull that down they've all gone red because they've gone past it I change this one to be the fourth that's still showing red so let's go forward a month 14th of September it's gone off the screen so that's showing green and so on and so on so now when I change these these deadline dates for these tasks they're going to change color now and I get a, visit, a, a visual indicator now if I change the table obviously these things are not going to be on every table so if I go view and then tables and then pick a different table like the cost table for example I don't have the indicator column and I don't have those two columns but I can add those columns so I can add the deadline column type in D and I can add text one deadline status so I get that in this table and when you do that with tables don't forget you can save this table as a new table if you want and then you get the best of both worlds so I'm just going to go back to the entry table now one of the reasons I'm doing this is so that you can maybe if this is a bigger project you can see all these diamonds at the minute but what I can do now is I can filter on I don't want blank but I could say zero is good filter on one now it's just showing me all the tasks that have gone past their deadline marker which is these ones and then if I take that off and show all again bring them all back and then that gives you all that information so it's just a little tip if you're going to use deadline markers you want to be able to see that deadline being hit if it's off the screen if you're down here you know have I hit a deadline or is it flagging up I'm not in that table you would have to insert this indicator column if, it, if you're not in that table or you do what I've done here add the deadline column and add and do a, an if statement an immediate if statement IIF to show these graphical indicators so hopefully that video is of use to you thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next one